Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. It's Jeff Midoso Crafts and welcome to the Global Stampin' Video Hop with the theme of holidays or vacations. So today I'm sharing a card featuring die cut scenes with the In The Grove bundle. So that's with the stamp set and the dies, but I will be using the dies mainly, but it does come as a bundle on our online shop. I'm mixing that up with the Unbounded Love uh, sentiment stamp set. So this is in French, but I have stamped it and written the translation on the left hand side there. And I am using the Your a True Blessing for my sentiment. The cardstock that you need are all basic white, five and a half by eight and a quarter or 14 by 21 centimeters. This is scored in half at 10.5 or 4 one of an inch, and it's a 10 fold card. You will need three basic white that is the same size as the card front. And the inks I'll be using are Memento Black, Granny Apple Green, Lemon Lime Twist, and Assure Afternoon. I'll also be using foam adhesive sheets to add height to my die cuts as well as blending brushes to ink blend on the scene. I've used a sticky tape to adhere the die onto one of the basic white layer making sure that the top and the sides have got equal distance from the edge and I'm just going to add foam adhesive sheets. If you're like me, you might have some offcuts. So I'll be using the offcuts just to lay them down at the back uh, where most of the tree trunks would be. So take off the backing and if you lift up your card, you can hopefully see where the dice is placed. And just do that with all of your offcuts on the left and on the right hand side, which I'm doing now. So on another piece of basic white, I am laying down the mountain dies as well as a, the tree die and sticking that down with sticky tape again, just so it doesn't move. And I'm gonna go ahead and die cut this through. So it's still the same sandwich, uh, base plate one, uh, shim number two and the cutting plates number three. So that would still work for with the adhesive sheets at the back. And I'm going to do the same on the other basic white and cut out my trees and the mountain. Carefully peel off the dye from the basic white layer, making sure that the sticky tape is off as well for the trees and the mountain and do cut off using paper snips on the edge. Now you can trim off the edge as well so it's not the same size or it's not as wide as the card front uh, but I didn't do this on my card. When cutting it off on the side it just makes sure that um, you can't see where the ink blending would be. So just in case your cutting isn't accurate and it's slightly longer than your card front. Now do the same for the intricate die with the tree trunks using a pierce mat and your take your pick tool. Carefully lift off the die again, making sure that the sticky tape goes with the die as well. Most of the big offcuts will come off, but because we do have the adhesive sheets at the back, it is slightly more fiddlier, um, but take your time and at least after you've done this, you know that some of the tree trunks will be supported with those adhesive sheets that we added at the back. As mentioned earlier, the theme is holidays or vacations. So the inspiration for this card is our recent holiday uh, cruise to Norway. So I, I wanted to create a scene 
uh, with the lovely mountains and trees that we saw. Now there isn't any fjords in my card, but um, I do love how it turns out. Check out the description below for the next video in the hop for more card making and paper craft inspirations from the design team, as well as the current Stampin' Up! products that I've used with links to our online shop, which you can purchase today if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, Netherlands, Belgium, or Ireland. Now I'm just adding some more Stampin' Dimensionals in the corners and in the middle of that die cut layer and taking off the backing, then putting it aside so it's safe when I need it for later on. Now I'm going to do some ink blending for the mountains. I'm using granite apple green. For the trees, I'm going to use lemon lime twist. And for the sky, I'm going to use Azure Afternoon with the blending brushes. When ink blending, apply the ink on the brush in a circular motion so you know that the full head of the brush is covered in ink and not just certain parts. Dab off on a piece of scrap paper and again add your ink onto your die cuts in a circular motion. Start off lightly and move on to the next die cut and do the same process. Now use each die cut and lay them up on top of each other to see if the amount of ink that you've already added is enough. Now I'm just going to construct my card with a sure afternoon layer. Now you can trim this layer down as well like the die cuts earlier as mentioned so it's not edge to edge and you won't see those ink blended edges. For the mountains, I'm just use the intricate dies to see where I'm gonna place it. And it should be long enough so you won't see the bottom edge. And do be careful when laying down the trees and not put it so high that you will see that bottom edge as well. That's why I use liquid glue. So if that does happen, I can quickly lift it off and re-stick that down. Then add the final layer of intricate die cut with the adhesive sheets at the back, making sure that the edges lined up. For my sentiment, I am just going to use Memento, ink that up, tap, 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 and then use the bottom edge just to make sure that it is stamped straight on. I decided to die cut on the off cut basic white, the cute little squirrel, and just Adding that on with another dimensional along the bottom foreground. And for the finishing touches, I'm using neutral adhesive back sequins. I believe they are white or maybe light silver, as well as splattering clear wink of Stella using a bone folder. Add as much as you want to make the whole project glimmer. And there we go. Here is my card for a global stamping video hop with the theme of holidays and vacations. Let me know in the comments below what you think or where is your favorite holiday destination. Thanks again for joining me today. Until next time, bye!